Welcome everybody to this CHAMP webinar on CargoSpot Mobile. Good morning, evening or afternoon. My name is Bartjan Haasbeek. I am based in Amsterdam and I am CHAMP's events and engagement manager. Many thanks for joining. Although we planned this webinar to be one of our smaller webinars in the series um, for a very selected audience, we noticed there is great interest and we have quite a big audience today. Uh, again, many thanks for, for this and, and joining us. Before we move on, I would like to address a few housekeeping items. Um, the duration of the webinar will be 45 minutes. All the data we show you also during the demo will be uh, fictitious. And we have four poll questions for you lined up to learn more about your views, um, etc. We will record the session and you will be recording, uh, uh, you will be receiving the recording on Friday uh, via email. If you have any questions, uh, everybody is on mute. Uh, you can uh, raise the questions you're, you're using the tool and we will address them at the end of the webinar. And if you're interested uh, to learn more, we are happy to uh, arrange a follow-up call. Today's agenda, um, we will start in a minute with the introduction of the panelists, and then we'll explain the importance uh, of having the ability of, of CargoSpot Mobile and its key features for the warehouse staff, then a live demo, the view from our customer, um, progressing forward and further uh, in digitalization, and the Q&A and the key takeaways uh, during the summary of the webinar. So let me please introduce you to today's speakers. From CHAMP, we welcome Asia Knight, Sales and Account Manager uh, based in London. Uh, in the Netherlands, Maria Lafayamshorst, Lead Business Analyst, Cargo Spot Handling. And from SATA, from the Azores in Portugal, Criteria Andrade, Cargo and Mail Manager, and Pedro Souza, IT Business Analyst and System Administrator. They will discuss how to increase operational efficiency with CargoSpot Mobile. And during the Q&A on standby in Zurich for possible in-depth product questions, we have Walter Mittelholzer, a product manager, CargoSpot Handling. So Aisha, could you please kick off the webinar and introduce us to CargoSpot Mobile? Aisha, we cannot hear you. Yeah. Sorry about that, I double clicked. So thank you so much, Bartjan, for handing over and thank you to everybody who has taken the time to join us here today. Uh, we are very excited to be here with you speaking about Champs Cargo Spot mobile product. And if you stay with us until the end, then hopefully you will see why we feel this way. Um, so I was actually invited by Bart Jan to be here and I said yes without any hesitation because I started my career in this industry actually with a international ground handler. And uh, they have been and continue to be a very large customer for us. Recently, they had a fantastic press release, uh, which explained their transition from a licensed environment to our latest SaaS model. And they will actually be rolling out the Cargo Spot Mobile over the next few months, which is part of this whole transition from license to SaaS. Uh, if you haven't guessed who it is, or maybe you've not seen the press article yet, I can say with pride that it's WFS. Um, but they are not really the only ones that have really understood the benefits of this cargo spot mobile product and we we do already have one of those customers on with us today which is sata and they also begun the cargo spot mobile journey recently so i i also have been working with them over the last 18 to 20 months and i'm very proud of the digitization and the transition that they have also gone from so we will be sharing a little bit about their story today and we'll be able to ask uh, our our colleagues as well some nice questions about how they found this journey. Um, the real goal for today is to explain to everybody that the adaptation of mobile is really for all size clients. So it doesn't matter whether you are a huge airline or ground handler or whether you are a relatively small to medium sized airline or ground handler, you can all achieve real results with this product. 
So before I go any further, I would like to ask some questions via a poll, if I may, Bart Jan. Yes, please, I will, I will launch the poll questions. So the first question is, are you using 606 IATA barcode label? So please use the tool to vote. The answers are easy. It's either yes or no. And then we will have one more question during this set of questions and then two later on in the webinar. So I can see that you are voting. Um, let's wait a little longer. We're now 40 seconds away. Um, percentage can increase a little bit more. So well over 60%, so that is very, very good result. So let's share the, um, the result. So this is the result, Aisha. And um, I'm happy to see that yes is at 53%. Um, as we know, uh, to use the handheld devices, you know, it's, it's quite vital to have the 606 IATA barcode labels. Um, for those of you that have answered at 47% that it's a no, no stress, uh, we will also be able to maybe answer some questions around the, the barcode labels a little bit later on. Okay, let's go to the next question. And the question is, what devices are you currently using in the warehouse? And here you can tick multiple boxes. So warehouse scanners, mobiles, tablets, all of the above. So same tool. Uh, yeah, the first votes are coming in. Let's wait a little longer. Here the percentage is a little lower, so maybe there are a few people that are not using anything. <clears throat> yeah, 50 seconds, so close and go to the result. Well, I'm very happy as well. Again, I can see that warehouse scanners are, are being used already. So the transition to go from a rugged device, for example, over to the cargo split mobile software is uh, going to be, let's say, a little bit easier for those uh, people that are already using. Um, we do have some clients that tend to stick with both when they first start out, but it's fantastic if you have that ability already and you understand how, how simplistic it is to simply scan rather than having to constantly go back into the office. Um, I can see as well that some are using mobiles and tablets and uh, it's, it's kind of a low number, so I would like to see that increasing over the next six to 12 months. Yes, indeed. That's the real objective of this call. Absolutely. This webinar. Okay, let's go to uh, the next slide. Wonderful, thank you. So here at Champ, we are very much uh, data driven, and we do like our customers to work and and to be incentivized by by the data that they see on graphs such as the one shown here. The reason for this, in my personal opinion, is because no truer story can really be told. And uh, because of this, every month we do share various different reports with our existing clientele. And the report that you can see here on screen shows uh, major industry players usage, transactional usage of the Cargo Spot mobile product. This particular client was implemented July 2020. And just you know, over 12 months, you can see that already 93% of their export goods acceptance is being done via the mobile app. And this is important because it means that a warehouseman is standing in the warehouse and is able to access Cargo Spot to update it, to, to send the status messages without needing to scribble something down on a piece of paper, deliver it to the office where it might be keyed in 10 or 20 minutes later. So again, the objective of today is to explain and show you that you can also achieve these results.
Some of you may be wondering why is it so important that a warehouseman has this ability? You know, you have your, your core systems already in the offices. What, what makes it so interesting? Why should we have the warehouseman, you know, have the ability to complete these functions? So with Bluetooth enabled scanners and internet connectivity, a much larger amount of warehouse activities can be completed in real time. And as we all know, it's crunch time in the warehouse. So time is very key, especially in the operations world. Uh, it also means that several people are running around, you know, often we say like headless chickens trying to meet deadlines. And because of that, mistakes can happen. We're, we're simply human. So this is where these devices really come in and they make such a huge impact because it's removing the opportunity uh, the opportunity, my apologies, for incorrect data to be inserted, um, and it's enabling the warehouseman to key in and scan much more efficient data. So this means down the line, less cargo is offloaded for incorrect ULD numbers or incorrect weights, for example. There are many features to the mobile app and you can see some of them listed here now, but I will just pick out uh, a couple of them before we move on to our demonstration. So as I said, you can use the, the mobile app on different devices and that actually goes for any iOS or Android device. Uh, we usually do have a certified list and if, if there is a device that you're interested in that isn't on our list, no stress either, we can always do the, the certifications and work through that with you. What's very special is the ability to scan the barcodes, to take photographs. So for example, you have a damaged ULD or a damaged box, your warehouseman can instantly take photographs of that and that will then be uploaded to the main record within the cargo spot system. Um, again, you can just scan QR codes as well, location codes, and all of the information that's done in the mobile app in the warehouse synchronizes. So the office staff as well can see exactly what's going on and how, how the warehouse is getting on with the build, for example, whether it's export or import. So that's, that's just a few uh, that I think are very important to mention. Thank you, Aisha. Um, let me remind the audience that you can ask questions uh, using the tool. Um, we will now go to our next speaker, um, Mariella. Mariella uh, is based in the Netherlands and will show us a demo from uh, about Carlsbad Mobile. So I will make you a presenter, Mariella. Good day, everybody. It is my pleasure to show you our mobile app. Uh, I use a real device and I use, I use a program to mirror it on the screen. So what you see here is my actual phone. This is the main menu of the app. We have an export menu, an import and a warehouse. I will just show you the, the several options. And after that, I will show you an Arable acceptance, a manifesting of uh, one Arable on the flight, a check-in and a delivery of an Arable. In the export menu, we have the export uh, Arable acceptance, the build up. We have an option to do stack load and offload short shipped. The offload short shipped will be for both Arables and ULDs. In the import, we have the following option, the check-in option, an option to register found cargo, deliveries and transfers, an option for airline transfer, check-in house arrow bills. This function will be used if the initial check-in is done first on master level, and an option to do piece correction. In the warehouse, we have the following options, relocation, either an arrow bill, a house arrow bill, or a ULD. We have location history, we have damage report, irregularity, additional services. This is to add the services to be able to invoice them, and an inventory check. Many of the options are also available in quick links, depending on which screen you are. I will show you an error bill acceptance. Scanning, very important, very easy. You see the option scan barcode. But if you don't use the scanner or you have no labels, then you can still in type in the data manual. We have an auto suggest, auto complete function. Here you see the error bill. I will accept the pieces, the weight. I can add the storage location. I could add additional data if required, and I will save the record. 
in Krakospot, this arrow bill was accepted the documents in the office. If I would do a refresh, you will see now that the record is updated with the data entered in the mobile. The received pieces, the received weight, date and the time, and the storage location. If we will go now to build up, manifesting of the flight. There are two flows. I can either select first a ULD, and then I will select each shipment what I will put in that ULD, or I can go to a list of all the arrow bills assigned to the flight, and I can then select the arrow bill first, and later on select the ULD where I want to manifest it in. I will show in this case the shipment flow. I have here two arrow bills that have status pre-manifest. I select the arrow bill, I click on assign, and I can then as a choose if I want to assign it in the bulk or in the PMC. You see one additional ULD, it's a BUP, so I would not be able to assign it on that ULD. And this shipment, if I want to split the shipment, these three pieces I will assign in the bulk. The remaining 12 pieces, I can then assign to a ULD. I could also scan here the arrow bills and I could also scan the ULDs in case they have the barcode. This is very fast flow. I have very limited time of manifesting a flight. We will now go to the import site, check in. I will select the flight. If I will proceed, I will see all the data, ULDs, arrow bills, as per the received FFM. You see there's a section uh, what is already uh, checked in the ULDs and a section what is not checked in yet. I will now select the bulk. Also on ULD level, you will have a section checked in arrow bills and a section that is not checked in yet. I will put the checked in pieces and the storage location. Now it moves to the checked in section two. In the client, you will see now this arrow bill has been checked in also. So it is directly updated whatever work is done in the warehouse. Last but not least, the delivery of an arrow bill. If the delivery receipt has a barcode that can be scanned too, but you can also enter the number manual. In here, I have a location uh, view or an arrow bill view. You see this arrow bill is stored in two locations. I go to the location to pick them up and mark them as such. Once I've done it, I click on proceed. I can put the person ID, the driver name, pass number in case I have it, license number in case that's available, and the digital signature. And once I will save it, you also will see here the data has been updated with the pickup details. That will conclude the very fast little demo. There are, of course, tons of more options, but I hope you like this part. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mariella. I surely liked it. Um, let me grab back the screen. Um, so how long does a normal presentation take if you would do a normal product presentation for Cargospot Mobile? I would at least suggest uh, two hours because then you could really go through each and every menu option and to show and preferable a bit longer if clients would like to see a certain scenario that we can also simulate that. Yeah, so we offer that option to, to our customers, of course. 
Uh, yeah, I, li I liked I, I liked it a lot. Uh, so first, Aisha showing the key features and benefits. Now you show it in real life. Um, not able to to split a, a BUP, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, putting something in the bulk, so warehouse staff can only do warehouse tasks. They cannot rebook any shipments to another flight. So everything that should be in the office remains in the office. Correct. Yeah, great, great. So let's now learn from uh, from our customers who are actually using the product. Um, we go to Criteria Andrade uh, in the Azores for, for Sato Cargo. And Criteria, could you explain a little bit about your experiences? Good morning, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Champ for the opportunity to share our experience with Cargo Mobile. Um, there are some things I would just like to, to say to other people that from our experience, we are working with electronic carry bills since 2012, so nine years, almost 10. And then last year, we are moving to paperless processes. And the last year we got, the, um, we improved SATA Cargo with Cargo Up. Then we took a step forward with the, the, the digitalization with Cargo Mobile. So we are improving our performance. Speed to customer improves performance and status updates vastly. Information to the client, update information is very important so they can know exactly what is happening with the, their cargo or shipment. It eliminates irregularities. We have less irregularities reports. The shipment is manifested directly to the flight in the system. So we avoid paper, keep going forward, back and forward, and uh, avoid uh, mistakes by manual actions. Um, another thing is transparency for everyone. Warehouse activities are available live. Management, or in fact, everyone involved in the operations can view the status live as it is happening at the time. So for us, SATA, we see that it was an important step to our process. A faster process to acceptance is very important to our clients. So they have time savings and information and for us, time is money. So we we are very happy with the, the improvement that we did with Cargo's, Cargo Mobile. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, yeah indeed, time is money. Uh, Aisha also mentioned something like that. Of course, you don't want congestion in the warehouse. Everything should be quick, especially in the warehouse. Um, very pleased to hear that this also fits your digitalization strategy. And you mentioned less irregularity, so it's a proven solution for you. So that, that sounds very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to your colleague, um, Pedro. Pedro, um, if you could explain a little bit more from, from the IT side and the usage. Good morning or good afternoon, good evening to, to everyone. Um, First of all, it was a, a huge bank for us. Uh, I tend to say and usually say to, to everyone that we were back in the dark ages. We were using paper for everything. Uh, Cargo Spot came along around nine years ago to 10 years ago already. And um, it was a huge a huge step and was the obvious next step, knowing that, for example, on the, on the passenger side, which I'm also responsible for, we've been last year and beginning of this year moving to every mobile thing that it, we can we can have from check-in load controls ramp ramp activities baggage and everything so baggage was obviously the next step and surprise for us which um, we found that most of the things that we we had were completely in the, the, the dark ages we were like 30 years ago and um, we we picked because it was uh, late March when we started looking for it. Uh, the implementation occurred during June, July. 
we we picked um, two stations, uh, mostly two of our biggest ones or most busy ones. And because it was peak summer, uh, someone had the idea that those were the best ones to it, although it, they were quite quite busy. So um, it's it was a learning thing. Uh, we we had a huge learning curve because uh, most of the things that we do um, or we would would actually doing were based on on the, on paper. And despite now they were just being done on a handheld, uh, you know that humans are keen to resist to change and for them just to transpose something that they used to see on a on a piece of paper into uh, into a screen it's obviously a, an obstacle but um i came into it and uh i said and my team we said that you just need to know that the piece of paper that you've been using for years now all comes from a, sc a screen so you're not doing anything else new it's just putting oh, on somewhere else and um they were they were very keen uh, to to learn. They had the the experience from the uh, passenger side, and obviously uh, we could because cargo spot mobile is not mandatory. You know, you don't need to, to use for everything in the uh, warehouse. We we actually see and if you can look there at uh, our graph, that's based on 17 stations. Of Obviously, we only using each two of them. That's why the graph is so low. But as you can see, the the acceptance, the ready for carriage, and the the freight on hand is very low yet. We've le we left that apart because of um, obviously uh, learning things and the the change of the manuals and and every and everything else. We would not do it that in peak summer, but as you can see, the manifest part is being done there. And on the on the import side, the import, the 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 uh, arrival, the uh, notification, everything is is being done there. Because we can do that in uh, in steps, we can identify clearly the bottlenecks. Where are the the old processes? Where the old processes were keeping us and eating us time. And cargo spot mobile for that solves us two things. It, it allows us to actually check that where everything takes longer, and it would actually save us time exactly there. And uh, for now, we're using it mostly uh, on the export plus the import in, in uh, one of those uh, stations only uh, the graph probably doesn't doesn't tell you that but it's been it's been improving we're actually rolling out now to uh, a third station and eventually it will end up being uh, everywhere but it allows us and that's the key thing that I want to tell everyone it allows the the airline or the handler to actually know where your burning money by taking too long that's one of the one of the key features it's way faster you don't need to to worry about if you're not doing everything correctly like if you print the pre manifest then you go into the warehouse you don't need to worry like if you have the last one it's always there you, you just have to refresh your screen it's always there with you and um transposes us into into a new a new age that for us was remarkably surprising to know that we were like 30 years ago so thank you Pedro. Uh, yeah speed is key you also emphasize speed it's all about speed and obviously you are no longer in the dark ages now <laughs> so that that sounds good um let's we will now go to to um the audience with a few questions but uh, a kind reminder if you have questions for us i see that already questions coming in but please do not be hesitant uh, pedro maybe i would like to ask you a question uh, after the poll questions about the the processes and change uh, you, you mentioned people I'm, I'm i'm curious to learn about the change management 
I can envision that uh, warehouse staff are traditional. Not a lot has changed over the decades, of course. Uh, warehouse acceptance is just acceptance. You sign a document, off they go, and you put it in the warehouse. So, so I'm curious how, how that went. But let's first and go to um, our audience and ask them uh, two questions again. Um, the first question, um, this, is, this is a bit different than what we normally ask. So what kind of innovation or digitalization would you like to see in uh, the warehouse? And we only selected a few options here. So if you, this is personal, your personal view in the warehouse, would you like to see augmented reality? Um, you know acceptance uh, with with the mobile build building uh, pallets with augmented reality uh, seeing what you can build um, dangerous good checks more automated uh, a dimension scanner updating uh, the system or for example ocr uh, an area bill arrives at, at, the, at the warehouse, uh, you put it on a scanner and automatically it transfers the data in the system if somebody would not send an FWB and, or e area bill. So these are just a few. Um, let me see where we are on the votes. Yes, that's going quite well, over 50%. So thank you for that. Let's now close this and share the results. And um, yeah, Aisha, could could you comment on this? What what you what you think about this? Absolutely. So um, I'm also very much a fan of the dimension scanner, and it's interesting as well that it seems like all of our audiences. Uh, I've seen some fantastic videos going around, and it's it's really incredible how you can you know use. A, a mobile phone to literally scan what would usually take sometimes hours for a warehouseman to do and um, often we'd have to ask them to go back into the warehouse to do maybe two or three checks if the if the count was coming back incorrect so that's uh, that's really great to see there and um, I would like to encourage actually anybody who is here today uh, if you are interested in any innovation uh, features as especially the ones that I mentioned here today I would really encourage you to contact your account or service manager, because we we do have uh, I think it's eight innovation projects ongoing at the moment with our head of innovation Lucas Fernandez, and we are always interested to know what our customers are wanting to see next. So I'm very happy that we had over 50% of you voting and telling us what you're interested in. Thank you. Yes, indeed. So now another question, and that's also a question we have never asked so far. So um, here. We are curious how you rate this webinar so far. So excellent, very good, fair. And the last one should be poor, I think, because it can all it will all it could only always be better. But could be better is what we have uh, mentioned here. So very interesting to learn. And still collecting responses i cannot see the percentage yet okay now i can see it uh, let's wait uh, 20 more seconds then we are on one minute this is also well exceeding the 50 percent mark <clears throat> yeah there we go five more seconds and I will close and then share the results. And uh, we have a tight between excellent and very good. So I started to become a little bit anxious, Bart. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But um, yeah, wonderful. Thank you very much. And something we often say, which is probably not the norm, is that even if you, you don't have uh, positive feedback, it's always good to have the feedback regardless so we can improve. So thank you as well to everybody for your results here. So let's move on. Um, thank you indeed to uh, our short panel discussion. Um, we're perfectly on time. So maybe maybe I will raise the question now straight away to, to you, Pedro, as, as I already mentioned on um, 
change management and implementation for you? How, how did that go? It's uh, it's always hard, you know. Uh, as you said, people have, have have been doing things at the warehouse at the the web or the same way for decades, for years in 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 years. We have, for example, we have uh, handling staff that has been working with us for forty years. They've been then doing the same thing for years and years and years. They've always known that it's their it's their reality. So when we introduced that, it was always and for, for the especially for the the uh, the oldest ones the ones that were more used to to paper and all of that it was a learning curve and um we we had to do it and our approach was actually uh some sort of of a fast so we wouldn't allow them and that's like human resources thing we wouldn't allow them to have time to complain so our implementation was actually very fast. We um, we implemented Cargo Sport Mobile in three weeks, which for me is kind of a record time. And uh, from from there, we were in parallel um, changing things at the uh, example. We didn't had, for example, a barcode label at the uh, warehouse shell. Nothing. We didn't have anything. The, the the agents at the airport they actually know where the cargo is because they know in which line which 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 row uh, or how how high that that cargo is they there's nothing that would actually tell them in the system that that it is there when the mariella showed that there was a, a, a location at the uh, warehouse for, for us that was completely new we didn't use that. Obviously, we, we're not, and I'll always take for for example, where we don't have in a warehouse like Cargo Lux has in the Luxembourg, which is huge, massive. Um, it's a, a, a small one. It serves uh, our reality, but we had in order to use this the system, and it doesn't matter how small it is. You need to uh, have your full auto automation. It's like if you're buying or if you're Im implementing a mobile app and you're not going to, to use the, the whole of it just because you don't see it advantages because you're, you, you're not big enough. You don't have the amount of, of cargo in and out every day. I'm guaranteeing you, you're not going to take the full use of it. You might as well don't, don't do anything. So um, the best option is is always go for 100% of everything. And as for the management itself of the change, obviously there's all those things like the AHM manuals, the CHM manuals, uh, uh, authority approvals, risk assessments, all of, all of that has to be done. There's no way around it. And I'm happy also to, to to tell that we're taking the opportunity of Cargo Sport Mobile to com to perform a complete revision of the full cargo process from booking to delivery and moving into a full no paper anywhere. That's where the um, the, the the Cargo Sport Mobile told us that tiny little bits of, of, of pieces that we would consider absolutely um, that there was no way that we could get rid of, of those. We saw with Cargo Sport that it is possible. You just need to have a critical approach to it. And you all always should ask why. Why do I need that piece of, of paper? And if I need it, what, what on that A4 piece of, of paper, what I'm, what it is that I'm actually seeing in there. I'm not reading the entire full of of um, of text in there. I'm probably just re reading one line. Then I don't I don't need a piece of paper. I just need a, a small strip with with that text in it. But can I transpose that into Cargo Spot Mobile? That's the the question, and that's a, a true exercise that IT management and handling have, and you absolutely need to do that in order to to improve. Uh, otherwise, it's it's going to take you a lot more time and you need to be open-minded, definitely. 
Okay, great. Yeah, you had some time to think about this answer, so it's, <laughs> it's a very long and good answer. So again, you mentioned speed, and I like the slogan a lot: "No paper anywhere." Uh, yeah, that is a, a very good good slogan. And uh, yeah, you you are uh, yeah improving the the process of of acceptance with no paper and no paper in the warehouse. So that that sounds very promising. Uh, Aisha, do you have a, a question you would like to raise? Well, I have a, a more of a comment, I would say, than a question. And um, it's something when I actually joined Champ around 20 months ago that I was encouraged to constantly ask why. And I definitely do that. And working with you guys at SATA, I see that you asking those same questions as well. And that's why I started off by saying that the journey that we've been on has been really one that you should also be very proud of because you are going fully into this digitization and you know we are seeing the results now. So it's really wonderful to hear you share your story there with us, Pedro. Um, I would actually like to maybe, instead of myself asking you a further question, I would like you guys to ask us some questions and, and maybe share even further whether the, the product has given you what you were expecting or, or maybe uh, there's something you can tell us around that. Kateria, maybe? Yes, yes. <laughs> I was unmuting my phone. I would like to ask you something because uh, we are, as you say, we are working together for almost two years and um, we started the digitalization improvement with your, our process with you. And we would like to know if uh, you have, what do you have for us next? What is next for a digitalization for cargo uh, world? Uh, if you can tell us something <laughs> so we could think okay. about it. Yeah, yeah. I think I need more time to go <laughs> fully into it. But um, as I said, we, we do have lots of innovation projects ongoing at the moment. And maybe if I just narrow it down and maybe I can ask Walter to, to now maybe tell us in particular, what do we have coming next for the mobile? Is 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 there a particular feature, Kateria, maybe that you guys are, are wondering whether Champ will develop it by any chance? For now, no, because we want to know everything. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> everything um, we we could choose after, but anything we would like to know because it's it's always um, good to think about it and to analyze what are op what options that we have. We do have absolutely uh, a few items in the in the pipeline, of course. Uh, one of them is a, a new security module where you can do security checks on the mobile instead of the um, the GUI. And uh, uh, ULD transfer is another one that is coming. And one is called freight out of warehouse, freight into warehouse, FIWFOW, which is uh, when you move the ULDs to the ramp or when you get it from the ramp. An, an additional uh, cargo IQ checkpoint um and many other small things but these are the three most important ones that are uh, coming next okay that sounds sounds very good um there are also some questions coming in from the audience Let, let's move to the audience questions now and walter uh you are as you are speaking now uh, i will address one to you um so how uh, what kind of uh, internet is required there's a question and also uh, same person asked about what kind of phone you, you need if it's is it just a normal phone with an uh, with an app yeah uh, I mean it it is working of course with Wi-Fi that's ideal uh, if you have that in the warehouse uh, but it also does on 3g 4g and in the future on 5g connection and on top of these rocket devices uh, the handheld terminals as we normally call them you can use any phone, Android or iOS uh, based phones and tablets, yeah. depending okay. on uh, the, the work uh, that you want to do. And of course, you can use it not only on the warehouse, you can do it anywhere on the road. You can sign into the application and check for uh, every bills yeah. and status so, of shipments. Pretty straightforward. So a uh, question also, in the import graphs, it was mentioned IMP, uh, ARR, Arrival, NFD, how are you using the mobile to reach these milestones? Maybe that is for, for SATA. So in the import graphs, 
it was mentioned IMP, ARR, and NFD. How are you using the mobile to reach these milestones? Well, on the import side, is actually they they're doing the the, ch the checkup. So what it is called in um, in cargo spot mobile port manifest. Uh, we're 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 using that where the agent when you don't when you don't do anything uh, what you do is you you print the the departure manifest and you just go into the, uh, the warehouse break up every, everything and everything is there the cargo spot mobile what what this view is the the the, uh, the opportunity for an agent get a handheld into into his hand go into the warehouse and do everything and we're also doing uh the uh the arrival the notification and the delivery including a signature yeah. i don't know if that answers the yeah. question yeah okay and one one more question and then we go to the summary we are slightly running over which is not a problem at all um so there are there, walter I, I think this one is also for you it's about the uh implementation speed how long does the implementation take mm, i think uh, pedro answered that already in his speak uh, like two three weeks in his case so yeah. That's uh, compared to other uh, software implementation, pretty fast. Yep. But given that you just need to download an app onto your uh, devices, once this is set up, uh, the application is available. Then the remaining part is the training. And that depends how you organize the training, how many people need to be involved, how many stations uh, will you implement. Uh, so that can take time. But to start with the first one is a couple of weeks. And yes. Champ offers also a training module for the mobile app under the uh, Champ Academy uh, tool. And I think this is very useful too to uh, learn the uh, mobile app and its details. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, Asha will mention this also now in the summary. You see the Champ Academy logo here already. Uh, let's move to, to the end of the, the, the webinar and, and conclude with the key summary. So Aisha, could you summarize uh, today's webinar? Sure, Th thank you so much. So as mentioned by Walter, we do have options for the training, whether it's the Champ Academy, um, but also it's uh, very intuitive. So if you contact us, then you will, you will see a little bit more about how intuitive it is. And hopefully you saw that earlier based on Mariella's demo. Um, but just as a summary, you know, we, we really wanted to share the importance of the mobile key abilities with you. And I hope that you have all understood just at least some of those, a handful of those at least today. We then had a great, and again, just a short demo by Mariella. As she mentioned, we can offer up to two hours to really go in depth with you and go through each of the, the different availabilities and the functional side for you. Uh, there's also been shared today with you the advantages from an airline perspective and specifically from the SATA customer journey. So most importantly, I think what we would like you to take away from today is that processes change and people can adapt to. We know it's hard but it can be done and we do encourage you to continually ask why amongst your colleagues, but also to champ so that we can better improve. So if I finish off, I'd like to say thank you very much once again for being here. Thank you for partaking in the poll questions and we, we definitely hope to hear from you. Yes, indeed. Um... Thank you as well, Aisha, and uh, thank you, Pedro. Thank you, Criteria, Walter, Mariella, um, and audience also. A big thank you to you. We have a next webinar uh, next month um, on the Cargo Spot portal. Please join us again there. And I would like to conclude also, also with the, the slogan that uh, that Sata mentioned: "No paper anywhere." Let's let's go for that. Um, please stay safe and see you next time. Thank you. Thank bye you, bye everyone. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Bye.